Hi YouTubers, it's time for Tip of the Week. Okay, excuse the poor lighting, I'm trying something different here just to get my fish uh, highlighted a bit more so you can see what my fish actually look like. So I'll just frighten them all, don't worry about it. Anyway, anyway, there we go, looks a little bit better. Okay, um, I have been posting some videos on getting Malawis to breed and um, this is what my tip of the week is this week uh, and it's it's readily accepted by a lot of Malawi cichlid breeders that uh, what I'm about to tell you does stimulate a lot of breeding and that is in your tank maintenance water changes okay you can see down here or oh, you might not be able to see I've got all the lights off I've got a tank there and that's about, well at the moment it's about three quarters full of cold water, say cold water. It's running about 68 degrees in my fish room. I'll get my tripod alright in a minute, it'll stand up. I don't know about my fish room being cold, but it's warmer in here than it is outside at the minute. Anyway, we're running at 68 degrees here in this, this water. And my tank is running about, well there's a lot of oxygen in that. And my tank's running about 78 to 80 degrees. So, come, come your normal water change is hoover the gravel, move the rocks around a bit, give everything a bit of a clean, do the glass, drop your water down about a third, then fill it back up with lukewarm water. Now, what that does there is that simulates the monsoons, it emulates the monsoons in South, South, South Africa. And uh, generally, Malawis do breed after a monsoon, and the reason for that is that the the rainwater uh, oxygenates the water. It washes insects into the water, so they start feeding. Plant life's a lot better, and generally, life gets a lot healthier, and they feed a lot more, and it stimulates them into breeding. And that's a little bit like what it does here. Uh, I use water. I don't use cold water. And I don't use water straight from the tap. This water's been stood for about a week and it's oxygenated and kept reasonably warm. So it drops about 10 degrees. Uh, so that's dropped about 10 degrees. So my tank water drops about 5, 6 degrees. Well, it isn't enough to shock them, but it's enough to promote them into doing some breeding. Okay. Uh, now where do I go from there? Which is, that's, that, I think that's about it, really. Um, I think I think you, you, if you post anything like this on Facebook, a lot of people will tell you that water changes, cold water changes, do, do emulate the monsoons and get them breathing. I know some breeders have even spoken to me and they've said that when they fill the waters up in the tanks, they fill the water back up with a wa water back up with a watering can, and the pitter patter of water <laughs> on the top of the aquarium simulates rainfall. I don't know, I've not gone that far yet, but I've always found that, you know, if my fish aren't, aren't breathing very well, then a, then a pretty stiff water change sorts them out. I've even heard of some people letting the water deteriorate really poorly, so that when they, when they do do your water changes and re return with your tank maintenance, that that sparks them into breeding. That's not something I advocate freely. I like my fish to be in the best of water at all times. Um, Another way of promoting them to breed is to breed protein, uh, feed protein. But I would, I would not advise feeding a lot of protein because Malawis get Malawi bloat, which is the intestines don't quite, and they, uh, they bloat out and die. But just a little bit of protein. I feed mine, my sis shrimp or something like that, not, not, not blood worm or nothing really fatty and meaty. Uh, but just a little bit of protein in the diet gives them that bit more energy in that. Then there was the mirror trick I said about yesterday. That promotes them into, into breeding. So, you can see what I've got in here is quite a few different varieties of fish. And they are approaching, uh, they are approaching adulthood. So I'm looking forward to them, looking to them breeding very soon. You can see some of these Jayco Freibergs now coming into colour. Got a couple of males in there. And then we've got some Labiotrophius Troavasis. There's a couple of them look like they're going to be breeding. And even my yellow labsies, Labidochromis carilius. 
I've mean, even had babies off them and they're only about that big so they're breeding very very young and I do let them go through the motion even though it's only two or three babies so that they do get into a rhythm of breeding not not too much because they can, you can overbreed the fish but I, I don't like to strip my females I like to let them spit naturally I'll put my holding females in holding tanks uh, about a fortnight after I've noticed the holding and I think that way it does get them into a routine of not spitting their eggs, not eating their own eggs, whatever. It builds a, a good habit of them looking after their own youngsters. Okay, so that's it guys. That's my tip of the week this week. I'm looking to get a new HD uh, Digicam next week to improve the quality of my videos. So uh, there won't be any more of this darkness that's going off, going off now. Um, so that's it guys. Thanks to all my subs. Thanks to my hitters. Please rate and comment on all my videos. Please keep subbing. Doing a great job here. Cheers, subs. See you guys.